episode of Funko Addict with me, your host, Ruby the Mutt. How are y'all doing? I'm doing great, thank you. So today we've got a very special pop. I know I say that every time, but this is even more special because it's going to be the first time that we see a six inch on this show. And today it's going to be one of those very classic animes that I know a lot of us grew up watching. It's Dragon Ball Z. So not only is this amazing pop of 6 inch, it is an exclusive and limited edition in South Africa and it is exclusive to Cosmic Comics. And thanks again to Cosmic Comics for sponsoring this video. Now let's use some summoning jutsu and get him in here ready for the review. Summoning the jutsu! <laughs> and wapow, there he is. Tell us in the comments if you actually know who this character is. I know that you guys probably know, but I'll be super impressed, proud mommy moment, if you know who this character is. Today we are going to be reviewing the Jade Shenron. Now for those of you who don't know who Shenron is, Shenron is a dragon that can be summoned using the Dragon Balls and he can grant you any wish. But there's obviously guidelines, you know, you know, genie guidelines and stuff like that where you have to follow like, don't raise the dead or stuff like that and he'll say, it is just out of my power. I am the Dragon Shenron. I shall grant you any wish. Now speak. I wish for Frieza! Bring him back to life! Your wishes have been fulfilled. So as we look at this pop, I think it's a, from a first glance, the pop is gorgeous. Just the detailing and everything on it is just amazing. This is incredibly well molded. It won't have any paint problems whatsoever because the plastic is casted green and it doesn't actually require any paint whatsoever. The one thing that I do have to comment on, however, is that jade isn't one uniform color. If you had to go look at a real piece of jade, it's got discolorations, places where it's slightly white, slightly different colors, different shades. And I know this probably isn't going for the most realistic look of jade, but it's still a gorgeous pop. And it's so intricate, you could just sit here and stare at the detail and the scales on this pop for hours. And I know we can't just sit here watching me turn this amazing pop for hours, I mean, maybe, I mean, just look at that, it's just mesmerizing. But yeah, it's definitely amazing. I've seen Shenron in the show and this is actually a really well translated pop into, from anime into real life. But I'm really disappointed when I heard that we were getting a Shenron, I thought that he would be fully painted. Don't get me wrong, this is a great looking pop, but I just thought it was really lazy on Funko's behalf. I know that they have a painted Shenron, but yeah, that's just my opinion. I'm gonna have to give this pop a... Mm, four Dragon Balls out of five. Definitely worth a buy, especially if you're starting to collect 6 inches and you're a huge fan of DBZ, I highly recommend that you get this one. They are only available at Cosmic Comics, which is why it is a Cosmic Comics exclusive, which is pretty cool. I mean, if you look over here, Cosmic has their own sticker to put on the box. Unfortunately, they did not get the sticker this time. It does say Special Edition, but that does not mean that it is not an exclusive to Cosmic Comics. But I love collecting 6 inches and this is definitely an amazing addition to the collection. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye!